Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'll be talking about my initial thoughts about the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. I generally do not like to do these kinds of video but quite a few of you have asked me uh, to uh, give out my initial thoughts about the Galaxy S6 and I was watching the live broadcast that was done on Sunday and I had made a lot of notes. So I'll be talking about that and some of the issues that I think might be there with the Galaxy S6 in my opinion and I'll also be uh, curious to know what you think about the Galaxy S6 later on and I wanted to do this in a live broadcast thing with Ash but that didn't work out so let's just continue and the first thing that Samsung was talking about the Galaxy S6 is the design aspect and yes I have to agree the S6 looks a lot better compared to the previously Galaxy devices for example I have this S4 etc and particularly I would say the S6 Edge actually looked very good. As Samsung says, these are the most sexy smartphones available. But again, I would say that's a personal judgment. But certainly, I would say the S6 Edge does look very good. And they also touted that now it has wireless charging. So it is compatible with Qi and PWM. So it will work uh, out of the box with wireless chargers if you have. So that's a nice thing. They also touted that it has Gorilla Glass on the front and even on the back. I'll come back to that a bit later. And uh, they also did the mention about the new touch twist and they said that it is lag free. So it will be interesting to see if it is truly lag free or not. But it's a good indication that Samsung is paying attention on touch twist and making it lighter. Also, now if we move to uh, the Edge, the S6 Edge, they were touting about the Edge screen and the Edge contacts. I found that a little bit on the gimmickier side because I do have this uh, regular Note uh, Edge. And uh, one thing I really that I use on this uh, Note Edge is this side uh, uh, panel and I use it as a multitasking tray. But it looks like that functionality won't be making to the S6 Edge. So again, uh, we'll see uh, how the Edge uh, differentiates itself a lot more compared to the regular S6 apart from the good looks. Uh, they were also talking about the new processor that's a 64-bit processor it's going to be the Exynos 7420 that'll be used on both the Galaxy S6 and the Edge and they also talked about the faster uh, storage faster flash storage so that's a good thing in my opinion and uh, again the S6 and the S6 Edge both come with a quad HD display uh, that was expected and that is there that brings them to the PPI of 577 and they were also touting about fast charging uh, but one thing to remember is that now the batteries are non-user replaceable on both the devices uh, they also were talking about the front facing camera as well as the rear facing camera both have a f 1.9 stop so it should be good even in low lighting uh, I, i'm actually very curious to see how well it uh, performs in real uh, uh, life conditions so that will be great and they also said that it also has fast auto focusing so even if you have moving shots it should take uh, them well i'm actually pretty happy with the note 4 camera as well as the note edge camera so looks like the camera on even the galaxy s6 and the edge will be uh, good so these were the highlighting factors but now let's uh, talk about some of the worries that i have now i'll put my tin foil hat and the, i have a five points to talk about first three are sort of nitpicking but i'll just go start with those nitpicking one thing to remember is now both the galaxy s6 and the edge will have nano sim so you got to be aware of that also we don't have any micro sd card slots According to me, that's a big bummer. Samsung should have implemented the micro SD card. Yes, we have ex excess storage that is 32, 64 and 128 gigs. But again, I miss the fact that we don't have a micro SD card slot. It's just way too easier to swap uh, stuff if you have a micro SD card. I used to do that on, on almost all of my Samsung devices, but we don't have that. And uh, also regarding the edge screen functionality, uh, I'll be curious to see what they implement because uh, looks like they have removed some of the uh, functionality from the edge screen if we compare it with the Note Edge. So that's one more uh, worry that I have. Now uh, regarding uh, the two main worries that I have 
is regarding the battery capacity. Uh, with the Galaxy S6, Samsung is putting just a 2550 milliamp hour battery. If you recall, the regular S4 had a 2600 milliamp battery, and uh, the S5 had a 2800 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so uh, the battery life is less and Samsung is touting that their new Exynos uh, 7420 processor that is going to be used is way more efficient around 25% more efficient uh, but I am a little bit skeptical because uh, even with the Note 4 if you recall uh, Samsung in their press release it said that uh, the Note 4 uh, gets 7 to 8% more battery life compared to the Note 3 for this is my original uh, Note 4 that I purchased and I also had a review unit of the Note 4 and with both the Note Note 4s, I would say the battery life is was lower compared to the Note 3. I would say it was approximately 15% lower compared to the Note 3. So I just hope that the battery life on the XS6 uh, and the S6 Edge uh, is good. I'm keeping my fingers crossed in this department. Now the biggest worry that I have is now with the S6 and the S6 Edge, even the back has glass that is Gorilla Glass. I'm not worried about uh, shattering a watt. That is a fact that can happen. But I'm worried about the heating issues because I have tested a lot of phones earlier also which had glass backing. For example, the LG G1 first generation, the Xperia Z1, Z2, Z3 and even the Nexus 4. And if you recall, one common thing between all these devices was that it used to overheat when it was stressed because simply uh, with glass it could not let out the heat easily so it used to get very hot so i'm worried uh, if samsung is able to solve those heating issues with the s6 so again that is one of my big worries with the s6 having that back glass but again uh, we'll come to know about that only uh, when i test it and i'll definitely try to test it when it's released it's going to be released sometime in april april 10th or so and now for some of the questions that I have it have for you. Now uh, Samsung, we have these two models. That's the regular S6 and the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge. Definitely the S6 Edge is being marketed as a premier device. And there is going to be a price difference. That was the same case with the Note 4, the regular Note 4 and the uh, Note Edge. And um, regarding the price difference, uh, what do you think uh, is an appropriate price uh, difference? A $100 markup or a $150 markup? In case of the Note uh, Edge in India, the regular uh, Note 4 and uh, uh, and the Note 4 Edge, the price difference is around 9,000 bucks. That's around 150 US dollars. So what do you think about the price difference between the S regular S6 and the S6 Edge? And how much price difference would you be comfortable comfortable to pay uh, for that premium design of the S6 Edge? $100, $150? I would love to know about that. Also, in general, what do you think about the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge? I would love to hear your thoughts about that. Again, that's it for now for this uh, quick uh, thoughts on the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. When these products are available in the retail market, I will definitely try to review it. So stay tuned to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Pranchi and I hope to see you in my next video.